In Jamaica, things got heated in Gordon House during Tuesday's sitting of Parliament. Speaker of the House Michael Peart was forced to suspend the session after opposition and government members threw barbs about who should be held responsible for the spate of crime affecting the country. More from Leslie Ann Sherwood. Parliament descended into a shouting match on Tuesday as both sides accused each other of doing little to address the crime epidemic. Security Minister Peter Bunting took the floor first accusing the opposition leader Andrew Holness of providing incorrect statistics while at a political rally recently. According to Mr. Bunting, Mr. Holness asserted that more persons are likely to die if the People's National Party PNP is in power. Mr. Bunting didn't take kindly to that statement. He said the opposition leader's utterances were unfortunate and were intended to lower morale in the police force. Mr. Bunting said Holness also provided wrong data about the level of attrition in the police. But shadow spokesman on national security Derek Smith said Mr. Holness was simply indicating the fears Jamaicans are expressing about the high rate of crime and violence. He says that figures show that since the start of the year, 1,045 persons have died, an increase of 23% when compared to 2014. In Clarendon, 41%. In St. Thomas, 73%. So one would obviously a responsible leader of the opposition could not be traveling out throughout Jamaica and not highlighting the problems that we're having with national security under this government. Mr. Smith says police officers are hampered by poor facilities. He says at least 50% of police vehicles island-wide aren't working. 50% of their vehicles in a garage. Yeah, are you coming here talking about support? What support are you giving them? Eh? What support are you giving them? What a nonsense about support. Mr. Speaker, the situation is so bad with tires, fuel, uniform. The moral is at rock bottom. Opposition member Desmond McKenzie says he didn't appreciate Mr. Bunting's sentiments towards the opposition leader. Mr. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we're not going to get anywhere. We're not going to get anywhere. He deserves respect. He deserves the respect. He deserves the respect. The member from Manchester has been very rude. Very rude to the leader of the opposition. Yeah, the member from North West has been very rude. Obnoxious. Encountering. The security minister argues that his administration had done a better job at managing the crime problem when compared to the previous Jamaica Labour Party JLP administration. In this alarm and this drama, I should just remind this house that as concerned as we are about the figures this year, if we look over the period 2012 to 2015, and compare it with the previous four years, yes. where over 1,300 fewer murders yes. than during that time. He says although the government has not been able to capitalize on the 14% reduction in crime last year, serious and violent crimes are still trending down. Mr. Holness disagreed and told him to sit down. Notwithstanding the disappointment that we have had that we did not continue the trend that we had last year in murders, even though every other category of serious and violent crime continues down. You know, no, I'm not sitting down. I'm not sitting down. I am responding to the, to the thing. By that point, the verbal spat intensified, and the House Speaker suspended the sitting for 15 minutes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I'm Leslie Chowd for Scene Caribbean News.